September the 14th, 2020. As you're looking at current images of uh, Tropical Storm Sally, now notice uh, in the last hour or so, this large explosion in the top. It looks like a large parachute opening right there, and the storm is strengthening. We'll also look at it on infrared. Now, the path has changed somewhat. The impact point is pretty much the same uh, in, on the Mississippi coast, but it was going to move further north at that point and then curve back through Alabama. But right now, the models are showing it coming in the Mississippi coast, guys, and taking a hard right towards Mobile Bay and Pensacola. That's going to put the worst part of the storm on you guys there. You, you're already looking at a storm surge. And you're going to have a lot of wind. But this is what we're dealing with in the top left still, Texas. Look at that. West Coast smoke. That's what, what that's from, guys. And it looks like, uh, again, you can see that explosion, but it looks like it's trying to wrap itself and possibly into an eye. This is the infrared images. And uh, the last report, we'll check it as I'm doing this, was 65 mile an hour sustained winds. Still expected to become a hurricane. Uh, Cat 1 possibly a um, mile of low level cat two guys but when you get to that speed the storm surge the winds the tornadoes water spouts the power outages and the flooding become pretty bad now all along the coast you can see where the outer rain bands are going just about covering from mobile bay back towards uh way back into the panhandle to the east of here check that out but the main thing now it's starting to slow down that's going to make all the rain that you're seeing stay in the same areas for long periods of time. And you look at the sides of the center. And from the center outward where you're starting to see the rain bands. And if it's creeping at 4 miles an hour. And it's going to take 24 hours to move 100 miles. Then there's going to be a lot of flooding. Let's take a look at the forecast. And what you're seeing, we talked about it before, when these storms uh come across Florida a lot of times and they re-strengthen in the Gulf, get close to that Florida panhandle or anywhere along that area, they tend to make a hard right turn. And that's the way Michael uh, happened to it last year, guys. I think it was a year before last. It was headed for Gulfport, turned, and it got to Panama City area real bad. But here we have, uh, probably in the next updates coming up, we'll have a hurricane. But right now we're dealing with a tropical depression. The uh, maximum sustained wind, 65 miles an hour. The movement is half of what it was. It's at 6 miles per hour. Expect it to slow more than that. Your uh, Guys, this thing is going to, even though it doesn't look that large, it's going to have a large impact. But notice it's coming into central Mississippi. Somewhere along the Alabama and Mississippi line now, looks like it could skirt the mouth of the Mississippi River. Now, this is just the center. Notice how large the orange area is. That represents what we just saw on the satellite images. But now, instead of, again, headed more north, the which was going to bring the center and the right, the northeast quadrant, the worst part of the storm, right up through Mississippi. Now it looks like Mobile Bay and uh, of all the Mississippi coast, but Mobile Bay especially because of the way it traps water. And it's going to turn and come over very close to the... Um, Orange Beach, uh, Perdido, uh, Pensacola, it's going to vary somewhat from this. And uh, again, tropical storm by 7 a.m. Wednesday, but that can bring a lot of rain all the way through Alabama. And by Friday, that's how slow this thing's moving. Today is Monday, Friday. It's not quite to Atlanta, Georgia. And if it continues to pull these rain bands out of the Gulf, that's going to make it more difficult to deal with. Now, more than likely, you're going to see more of the storm surge shift to the right or higher storm surges. You, they're basically the same as they were from Burns Point, Louisiana to Port Fouchon, one to three feet from Port Fouchon to the mouth of the Mississippi River, three to five feet of storm surge. If you move up uh, into this area, it's very low, seven to 11 feet at Lake Bourne, uh, four to six feet up in Pontchartrain and Maripas, Ocean Springs, five to eight feet. That's going to change, guys, because the storm is turning to the right. The right side of the storm is going to have the largest amount of storm surge. Five to eight feet, again, from Ocean Springs to Mississippi-Alabama border. And according to the 
uh, folks down on the coast that are watching the storm, part of uh, MEMA, that could be much higher than that now, 7 to 11 feet all the way to uh, the Mississippi-Alabama border. But notice the 7 to 11 foot, guys, goes to Ocean Springs. You see that? Then you get over to 1 to 3 feet, 4 to 7 foot in the Mobile area. 1 to 3 feet get out around the Pensacola, I mean Panama City area. So this is what we're dealing with. This right curve is changing the northeast quadrant of the storm. That should be the main message of this video right now is the direction has changed. But guys, we're going to be watching it throughout the day. I had to be uh, up in the Capitol this morning before 8 o'clock, so I just got home, and uh, so I'm here now, and I can settle down. We'll keep an eye on it. It's so a heads up. Be safe.